Hello everybody, Brent Guy here, and welcome back to the crust. Alright, so, found it what the problem was. <laughs> I went on a Discord, to uh, the crust Discord, and talked to some people, and uh, they were pretty helpful, and good people over there. Um, very helpful, very helpful. So, it does look like I did miss something, and there's a few ways to trigger it, and... Um, I'm going to hold off on triggering it because the next the next section of the um of this playthrough is like you have to like feed um something a lot of material <laughs> we're not set up really for that we are but we're not okay so and I want to redo a little bunch of base can jiggering at the same time too knowing that I I didn't break the game I just you know I'm still breaking the game in a way because I'm way ahead of what I see to other people at doing because I was so distraught to figure out what I did wrong that I started to go seeing what other people were doing right quick and to the stage that I'm at right now to a few other people I'm extremely far ahead so I'm going to continue doing that extremely far ahead thing um, which I like which I like all right, so the first things first is we're going to, like, redo our power infrastructure. We're going to get this out of here, okay? Because we talked about this in the last episode that I can put all the all the stuff up here. And if we make a nice big area where we can store materials, which would be great. I wonder, I wonder, do they have, a like, a bigger one than these coming up? Like, like a gigantic huge one? That would be awesome. It's hard to tell because, like, you, you don't see the technology unlock as you go, right? Um, which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. Because I don't want to go and put uh, these large storages. Where are they? These ones here, if there's, like, a huge one. Because these ones only hold a certain amount. Like, I think they're 2,400. No, 2,048. Like a Minecraft uh, chest. Um, like a modded one, anyways. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's the plan. I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, rika jiggering. We're gonna move this. Uh, probably where would be a nice place to move that? Probably over here would probably be a good place so we can open up that or even put the power infrastructure down here a little bit since we can't move this thing out of the damn way, which is unfortunate. Um. But yeah, all right, so that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to rebuild all of this down here using just the the large ones and the large solar panels. Uh, what are the large solar, solar panels cost? Oh, they are those blue cube things, and I'm not making them yet, huh? Or the octagon things or whatever, these control units. I don't make those yet. I could buy them. I got enough money. These are still pretty cheap. They give you 300 though. Like three over three times the amount. That's insane. So for every one of these, I'm losing three of those. That'd be kind of a good thing. Would be a good thing. But then what's the repair cost? What does it use to repair? Probably one of these damn things. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with the uh, with the the small, uh, the medium solar panel ones. I think for cost effectiveness at the moment, because we're not creating a bunch of whatever. I think that's what I'll do. I'll do a combination of the the large batteries and the medium solar panels down there. All right, so give me a few. I'll redo that. And then we'll take this in stages today of uh, what the plan is. All right. So I'll do stage one. I'll be back. Hello, everybody. Brent Okai here. And welcome back to the crust. All right. So kind of found out uh, what uh, what the problem is. Uh, there's not really much of a problem. It's a time thing. Um, there's a really long time gap between when you finish that room until they give you the next, the next kind of like, uh, you know, um objective right so it was about another three months from now <laughs> in game time 
that I'm going to get like a pop-up of a guy coming in saying, oh, um, you know, maybe you should build repeaters and uh, to help detect what other kind of broken down equipment there are on the, on the surface of the, of the moon. So that's the trigger in order to kind of like get into like the next really hard part of the game. And I think we're going to start preparing for that next really hard part of the game. Apparently. I don't know. I've, I've just heard rumors. Um, <clears throat> so to the people at discord, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for your patience to this old dog. Uh, and help me figure this out too, because like I, after they told me I let the game run for even longer and it just popped up and I'm like, for Christ's sakes. Anyways, so it's all good. We're all on the same page now. They're good people over there. They're very helpful. And uh, if I ever have another problem, I won't be afraid to reach out to them because they're pretty, pretty decent people. All right. So today, what the plan is, is we're going to get prepared to have all of our stuff come upstairs. Okay. That's, that's the goal. I want all of our crap to be able to be stored up here. And I want to make like a nice big storage system up here. Okay. These... I'm probably in time are probably going to line them up over here because they're just really non-functional buildings unless I'm using them. This one will give me more room to place in more of these possibly <clears throat> as well. Sorry. And then that way I can have multiple trucks doing multiple things and hopefully they're all dropping their crap off in here. Um, I, you can't designate a truck to a truck stop which would be kind of nice um because then you could say okay well you guys only bring your shit here and you guys only bring your shit here kind of thing right that would be kind of wicked um so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to move all this power infrastructure okay we're going to put something down here um kind of under the way i don't know if that's like a mountain or Oh, it looks pretty flat all the way down here. So we should be good to do something power-wise down this way. And then we should be able to extend it if we want, right? That's going to be the goal. So I want to move all of this to here. I'm going to start that step one off cam. I'll just start right quick just to give you an idea of what we're going to go for here. We're paused too, so that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. Um... Seems to be kind of uneven land here. So I think lining it up like that would be pretty good. And then it gives me space in between there too. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go rows of ten, maybe. And then one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's try with 80 of them, and then uh, we'll go with that. I know I'm going to hit my CPU, I, I, I guarantee it, but uh, I'm going to set all that up. I'm going to have all these drones come up here and do their thing and fix all that up, and then uh, we'll be back. And then we'll start setting up the next area together and planning out how we want all of our materials to come up here and all that good jazz. All right, be back. Director, a lot of industrial and scientific facilities on the moon have been severely damaged and remain incommunicado. We could try to build a repeater at our base. Who knows what signals it might be able to detect. Maybe we can find survivors or gather useful resources and research materials. So as you can see that it takes quite a while after you complete the room for this to actually appear. So that's why I was kind of really lost and what the hell was going on because I completed everything. And as far as I can tell, like some of the other people that I've like, kind of like briefly watched, they, they, they seem to kind of like be playing it where you get the people earlier so that they're, they're playing it a little bit harder and they're, they're, I guess kind of like at a faster pace. So that's probably why they still have so much left on their map to do as opposed to me or at the stage where I'm at. 
So anyways, um, yeah, so this is where we got to keep going. Uh, this is, we got to do a repeater. And then once we build the repeater, well, then we'll move on with the story. But um, I'll show you what I've been up to in the meantime. I've been moving our power infrastructure over here, slowly getting rid of the, the large ones and filling up these ones. Um, once these ones are all full, I'll slowly deplete these ones, keeping the uh, solar panels for now, making sure that these stay full. And then I'll just slowly transition over to make sure that all the system stays nice and full and we don't run out of power downstairs. Um, downstairs, speaking of, I did add uh, this silicone one right here. I upgraded it to level 3 since we now have level 3 unlocked because of the research I've been doing. And I also went and I plugged this one up as well. Um, looks like you just need to get repaired. And that one too is at level three. They're two hundred and seventy thousand dollars for a level three. That's pretty insane. We were at one point three million or one point one million, and we're down to like six hundred thousand now. So that's that that hurts. Um, but that's fine. We can complete contracts to get that up. But our silicone um is hurting pretty bad. Like some of these are just about empty. All the ones that we had up here, those are all gone now because they're all empty. So I've also moved the uh, the mining drone over here. So we'll start picking up out of him now. So he's got full of regolith and a lot of silicone, titanium, iron oxide, aluminum. So he's got a nice little nice little mix over here. Very little bit of slag, which is nice. So that that's good. Um, he'll start bringing that home. And oops, wrong button, man. Wrong buttons. All right, and then in here, oh wow, don't have to get that fixed. So that's one of the other things we're gonna work on too, is getting the rest of those pieces uh, made so I don't have to buy any of these. Let's go with like 20. I can afford it. There we go. And then we'll just drop you here for now. So I'll get fixed. And then he'll have somewhere to drop it off there. So as you can see, we have like 80,000 regolith in here as it is. This has got like 20,000. So like we're, we're not hurting on uh, material. I think it's mostly uh, titanium. So this will slowly go down and this will start slowly going up, which will be good. Because uh, we got like 6k titanium in there. And I don't think these are really backing up. Which is good. So at least the stuff is coming out. It's just looks like it's a bottleneck too. Yeah, it's different types of belts, but whatever, it works. <laughs> Clears up the bottom like that's in there. Alright, that's good. So I'm going to continue moving this over, and then once I'm completely done all of that, then we'll hit phase two of today's operation. Continue between the project investors and Malachite. The corporation insists that the investments are barely enough to cover obligations to former employees. More than a thousand people are still awaiting payment for their work. The global unemployment rate has risen by 1.5% compared to last year's figures, in line with analysis' predictions. Experts expect that the collapse of such a large-scale project will continue to impact the labor market. Meanwhile, the scientific community expresses concern over the closure of the Malachite project. The lack of an alternative path to space significantly hampers research efforts and slows down technological progress. So, this kind of popped up. I guess uh, we'll see what happens. Anything new? No? Just uh, news from Earth? <laughs> Alright, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know if that's going to force us to do anything else or whatnot, but uh, yeah, things are coming along pretty good. I'm moving this over here now. I got almost all this destroyed and ready to go. So pretty much, well, yeah. Getting there, getting there. All right, and then as soon as it's done and all picked up, well, then we'll continue off. But we're doing pretty good. All right, so I think I got everything satisfied-wise that uh, I am. We got all the stuff on the side here. This is going to be changing places eventually. Um, 
just so I can maybe automate contracts later on. But first, we're going to work on like our storage system on uh, how we want all this to pop out. So we go back into what was it again? Uh, logistics. And then we look at uh, our little storage system down here, right? Uh, it's even awesome. You zoom in at the same time. That's great. So say we started there, right? I got the game on pause, so we'll we'll be fine. Um, so one here. Do I skip or do I keep them? I should skip one. I just want to see what this looks like downstairs afterwards. And uh, how much rearranging we would have to do. And I'll count how many containers that we actually have downstairs. I'm just doing this for like shits and giggles at the moment. Well, let's just stop there. Let's go have a look downstairs. So we got one, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then one more would be 12, so that would have to move over kind of one. I think this would work. I think this would work. I really do. Okay. And then upstairs here, we would have all of our containers lined up like this. So we would go, say... I'll even just leave one space so that way I can put as many containers as we can up here and do like a, a really good storage system and just like hoard everything, <laughs> um, which probably would be really smart to do. All right. Um, so let's go like this. I like it better like that. So each one of these would get a container for now. I'll do the planning out with you guys and then I'll do the building afterwards, right? Okay, so... And then I'll put the ordering of everything that's going to go. So obviously this one's going to be like bricks first. Because that would be the first one. And we would get like steel and then I'll go down the list as it is in order downstairs and we'll put it up here. Um, belt wise, I don't know. I don't think we need the fastest belt. Maybe we'll just do our, our normal slow belts for like the production line because I don't really think we need to be upgrading that. I think it's just... The outcomes will be fine with this. I think we'll be fine. And then later on, if we really do need to come back and upgrade these, we'll, we'll do it, right? And almost done. Oh, wrong one. Again? Why? That's that. Awesome. All right, let's build those. Then we'll go back downstairs. And I will temporarily delete these. That way we're not putting any more items in here. Um, uh, okay. The bricks... Uh, that's just because it's like... I got enough backup of slag. So let's uh, stop the whole brick thing for now. And then this way I can move like all my products upstairs. And then put the chest in the proper order here. 
So I'll go make sure that, uh, and then these ones too will disappear because these will be part of the upstairs. Uh, you, you know what? I might actually just keep these down here because these are a good like pre backup to the main, the main one upstairs. All right, I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll destroy each one of these one at a time. I'll have them go in their respective box upstairs and then I'll hook them all up and I'll rebuild boxes down here all in the right order. And then I'll hook them all up to the lines and then we'll come back from there. And then, then we'll probably get into, um, probably get into like creating the rest of the production that we need. And then hopefully we'll see how that goes. So one step at a time. So I'll go move all this and then we'll come back. <coughs> All right, so it looks like we got uh, pretty much well everything set up now. I moved the landing pad over here, added a second one, and then moved the automated landing pad over here. I'm not really 100% sure how this would work because as soon as you start pulling items out, it um, they just go on the conveyor belt, right? They're, they're, they don't wait to have like an input saying, oh, I need so much, and then go into here, right? And I'm not sure how to really automate this part of it all. So, because you got like different outputs here, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, you could put like the first nine on here and then say, okay, well, only these contracts are going to go to here. And then you could do the same thing to here, kind of thing. But then you're always putting items into here right and i don't know if there's a buffer on that or what right so um i'm gonna have to check into this a little bit more to find out how it works exactly before i kind of start uh, plugging things up into it but for now all the items are here that we're creating downstairs so we have a nice little backlog of things that happen in um so let's go look downstairs so downstairs, I have everything is just like a repeat of what it is upstairs, more or less, except in the reverse fashion. So here we're pulling off the production line all the way through. And then everything, I believe, is part of either going up or going down. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure anyways. I, I went through it kind of extensively to try to remove like the ones that weren't being used. So, except for something like this, which I forgot. Just trying to get rid of stuff like that so it looks a little bit nicer, right? Um, other than that, like, I think we pretty much well got that all under, under wraps, right? Um, here, we are eating through this pretty good. We got 20,000 left. What do we got left on this one? uh 1100 units so that one's almost empty which is good <clears throat> this is going to take absolutely research complete forever okay that's good let's go have a look here um so for research wise i only have like this left in the engineering section then i'm going to go work on the fundamental section and try to get whatever's left in here and obviously finish my backlog right and then we'll just have whatever's in social really uh left to do and that kind of ends right about here which we're really not that uh far behind in the research aspect of it all so we're almost done all all the research before we even bring humans here which is nice um i added a few more things here i did take these two away because they are pigs on water it's uh 24 water in order to, to do these and i'm not really sure how water works in this if it's automatically taken out and delivered or a drone has to physically bring water to this i'm not really sure um it's kind of weird because they're all demanding water even though my water tanks are pretty full so i'm not 100 percent sure on how that works um uh, another thing to look into but um let's see here what can we do for do we have any more to do let's put this on pause 
So these are the carbon fiber ones, right? And that's another question too, is how do you get the carbon fiber out of these rooms? Like there's no wall thing for you to bring a conveyor belt out, right? You can't really bring them through doors, right? There's no way to bring them through doors. And the only way to get them out is through drones. So you would literally have to say to drones, like, empty this all the time and bring it to the other one. But I don't know if that's a thing or not. Um, yeah, that's uh, a question I have uh, to figure out as well. A lot of, lot of little things about this I've been trying to figure out. And uh, while becoming the Saudi Arabia of the moon, uh, I'm just throwing up gas like crazy here. Um, and then the next thing we got to work on is I want to re redo this system. So that way we have like a whole bunch of smelters designated just for iron and whatever for each row, right? And kind of go from there. So this, I'm probably going to bring back some, um, or even maybe like line up here or something. I don't know. It could actually be worked out. It could actually work. I could do a nice little line of them going this way. And then I can make all my smelters here. Yeah, this could work. I could, that could work. That could absolutely work. And then um, this, I could just reek a jigger somewhere else, depending on like, how all this is set up blueprints would be nice um, where I could just like copy and paste and throw a blueprint down instead of having to rebuild it all. That'd be kind of dope. <clears throat> yeah. So that's kind of sounds like a pretty good next project, really um, trying to clean up the base a little bit, get things more productive and more because this is, I'm just trying to buy time until like these things are like empty so I can just continue and I might not even wait for the ice to finish. I'm probably just going to go over top of it. But as soon as this silicone is done, um, I will like continue and advance on with our production lines. Um, I'm just trying to do the optimization of it right now. So that way we don't get into like a tangled mess later on. And then we are kind of like stuck. And I'm just trying to get rid of all of the pipeline problems now. And... Yeah, I'm kind of go from there. I think oops, I think that's what I will do. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start moving this stuff over here and starting a production line here. Here, do 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 do. So the farther I come over this way, though, but oh no, actually that'd be a good thing because say, oh. This mountain is in the way. It'd be really nice to be able to terraform this mountain and get rid of it all. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, <clears throat> because then, I was thinking about my truck stops here, right? Like, let's... Uh, can you not have more than one? Oh, you can only have one. Oh, wow. Okay. So that means we're going to have to use the multiple lines here so we can have different. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. <laughs> this is great. Okay. This could actually work out really good in my favor because then we could have multiple lines coming out of here, feeding into whatever, right? This one only needs the one. So I can make these ones just all regular with lines feeding into different elevators going down and then that could come up into here somewhere like say different elevators i can maybe make them go here and then we could split the loads up pretty evenly between a whole whack of these and then just get like massive resources all right um let's start a little bit of the initial planning here together and then i'll let it build and we'll kind of Delete a little bit at a time here. Um, so, 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 so. Obviously, going to need to start like these. Well, which one did I start with down here? Try to keep the same. 
the same thing going here. Okay, so we got the purple and the other one. All right. Why you have to be like this? What did I just hit? <laughs> oh no! How do I get out of this? What did I? What did I clicketh? Because now I'm in like some kind of oh, awesome ghost mode here. How did I get into this mode? Not that I don't like it, but I don't like it. Control. No. Control G. Uh, no, that's not it. Ah, uh, what did I hit? Fog. I have no idea what I hit, man. <laughs> Alright, let me try to figure this out. Ah, my lord. Apparently it's uh, Control F to get in and Control F to get out. My god, how did I even hit that? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Alright, so let's go over here and copy this thing again. We want to start with the... Um... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I want to start with the uh, silicone in the, I believe that's uh, titanium. All right, so let's kind of give ourselves some room to work with here. See, the slag line is there, which is not a bad thing. That's actually really good. Um, let's try to go back as far. Yeah, that should be good. And then I think it's like every four I put one, right? Or yeah, something like that. So those two are there. I mean, they're gonna switch these around. So that way, those two are there. Those are on the other side. Cause you always gotta match the one. You always gotta match the one that's on the inside. So this is gonna be reverse. Four way. Uh, yeah. We're gonna reverse something like that. That's good. Oops. And we gotta do that. I'm trying to remember my order. Hopefully this is right. Um, doo -doo -doo. I keep forgetting to hit shift, so I might be messing this up. We'll find out afterwards when I go to set it all up. Uh, shift. Shift. And we'll start with that one right there. Uh, and it's there. Those two. That. Yep, yep. 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 So it's looking like the, um, the hell? You're not gonna show me what your what your exits are. <laughs> You're being difficult. You're one of them, huh? Show you difficult. All right. So what were you first of all? Okay. Uh, copy that one and then just flip it. There we go. So it looks like it's all in the same order. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gives me ten of them. That's pretty good. And then I can continue that on this way too if I wanted to after I get rid of that. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll slowly hook all this up and then we will try to figure out what we're going to do with all this too. This might put a little bit of a, a halt on our production, a small halt on our production, because once we start deleting this, it'll, uh, I might just actually pause these. 
probably be the better idea, right? And then those will all stop. And then they'll just empty out. I'll give a chance for these to empty out. And I might have less stuff to move around. Okay. Alright. We can do that. That will be the plan. So. Here we got. That. This one is like that. Then we're going to grab some of these. These were on the outside. Um, yeah, those were on the outside. Go like that. On the outside, like this. And then... So that's purple, that's purple. That's good, because this would be going into here like that. And then this, say, so just becomes the purple line. And that one goes into that one. This one is here, that is there. This will be coming into the other one. And then we just pretty much all going to repeat that all the way up. So, and then now we want these lines to get into here. So I'm going to have to extend these just a little wee bit. And then we'll grab one of these here. With one of those on this side here. Flip, do the same thing. In reverse. So now we have this line joining that line. All right. And then so that goes to, to yeah, to here. This will connect up to that and that will connect up to there. This will be the opposite. Going into here like this. And this will connect into here. So <clears throat> that's pretty much all the gist of that. And then you got to build it because once you start adding on to the next parts, um, you're going to need to know where the arrows go first. And then that way you can always see where your material is going. So, yeah, I'm going to continue that little spiel all the way up and get it all prepared. I'll hit the play button so that way they can empty all this out in the meantime. <clears throat> and then uh, when we come back in the next episode, we'll... Um, We'll have just the smelters to set up and get the rest of the production line going over here. And yeah, so I think that's going to be pretty good for today. We were pretty, pretty productive in a way on, on trying to prepare for the future and make sure that uh, we're not going to get screwed. And we also found out that, uh, you know, I didn't break the game, but in a way I am breaking the game because I'm taking my slow ass time to, to do it. So in, in a sense I am. So we'll just let all this empty out and I'll let that all build up. And in the next episode, we'll, we'll continue with the dismantling of all this, setting up our new smeltering system and the whole nine yards. That way we're really seriously producing a lot of stuff here. And then what we can do also is we could set up different miners for different products and then we'll have different one rover per each i think would be good enough uh going back and forth between the the in particular miners that i'm going to have out there and then we'll try to do one for aluminum titanium the iron and the silicone and the um the rare earths are just going to kind of come with all of these and then the ice wall we'll deal with that when the uh when that in particular time comes around, that'll be a different problem uh, for us to deal with. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. You know, the crust will continue and uh, we'll have the, the most awesomest line that's out there. And at the same time, just thinking about the way I'm setting all this up right now is the fact that we're also going to have um, 
the opportunity to maybe even double this up and have two of them side by side and then just have our our regulars come in here right so i think that's another really good option to think about and uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video everybody peace take care and we'll see you next time bye, -bye.